Welcome back everybody. I thought I would do a second color. Um, I was inspired by these colors by somebody else's string, no, chain pull I believe it was. So I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to use the Velvet Crush, that's what I'm going to dip my strings into. I've got it here in the cup ready. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of water to it. Stir that up pretty good. That's just to, so that it'll water down the paint a little bit and my strings will dip into it very easily. And you see, it's just got a light consistency. I go ahead and dip my strings into that. I reuse my strings, so these are still kind of damp from the last pour from this one. So I'm going to go ahead and drop those in there. And I use everything, chopsticks and skewers and toothpicks and paper clips and whatever. So just drop these in here. I'm going to make sure they get nice and saturated with the darker purple. Let those set a minute while I get the rest of it ready. Oh, lost the string. Just drop that down in there. Stir that into the paint really well. So I get some nice coverage on the string. Set that aside. I'm going to start with my white. I make my white ahead of time and I drop a couple of drops of um, the Garnier Fructis Marvelous Oil. That's how I get my cells. So I'm going to put some white in there, white into the cup. I'm going to put a little bit of the Lilac Mist. It's a lighter purple. Because I want some colors, but I don't want the purple to overwhelm the darker purple that I'm going to pull the strings through. I'm going to take my toothpick, just give it a quick swirl. I'm going to add just a little bit more white on top, whatever's left in my cup. I want to make sure I have enough coverage on the rock. I use these little solo cups and they come in handy. I rinse them out and reuse them. Little swirl. And ready. So I take my rock. It's a nice size rock. Drop the cup over it. Let it set for a minute. You can kind of drag the cup around. Pretty colors already. You can see the cells are starting to pop up. I'm just letting this drip right on the rock. Make sure I get nice coverage. I did not water down these paints at all. The only paint I watered down was my string pull paint. And this may need a little bit more, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more of my white. This is white mixed with the hair serum. Pour that into my cup. A little more of the lilac mist. Drag 
my toothpick through just to give it a nice swirl. And go ahead and pour this right over the rock. And I see my cells popping up, which is always exciting, always fun. I have a lot of good results with the hair oil. Just let that rock drip. Come back in with my flat brush, pick up anything that drops off the rock, and lay it right back on there. And this is strictly for coverage. It's already a pretty color. let that drip. I'll come back in in a little bit and clean up the bottoms with my brush. I just want to make sure that we're nice and covered. And you can see without doing anything the cells are already just popping up which is really neat. Not too bad for coverage. Soles already popping up, kind of neat. Give my purple strings one more little push into the paint before I pull them out and put them on the rock. You want to do this while the rock is wet so you can actually pull through the colors. And here we go. So I'll take the first string Drop it onto the rock. My second string. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to do this. Um, I could be wrong. I've watched a few videos. And watch how people just lay their strings. Some people can get really neat effects. So that's string number two. And this is string number three. I'm just trying to place it. Just let that sit on there for a minute. Just tap it down with my toothpick. Make sure I get the paint, some paint coverage. And here we go. String number one. Slow pull. Put that back in the cup in case I want to add more. String number two. Fun. Put that back in the cup because I think I want some more coverage at the top. I really like the way it makes the little flower looking segments. Maybe when I twirl my string. And string number three. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I'm going to add a little bit more. Dip my strings back in my purple paint. Get some coverage with those. Drop it back onto the middle. I notice when I let the string curl, I get a prettier effect. Let 
that set for a sec. And I'm going to go ahead and pull. Pretty. Pretty. Neat. Very neat effects. Come in with my toothpick and get some so a little bit of design going. It doesn't have to be like this. I just like to experiment with everything. Oh, I've got a big chunk of glob of something here. Get rid of that. And you see there's not really anything to it at all. I come in on the bottom of my rocks with my flat brush and scoop all the extra paint up. I scoop everything back into a cup or a container and use it again. And this is how I clean up the bottoms. Uh, let's see, do I have one? I have one where I've cleaned up the bottom. You can see how I've smoothed it down. You can also see on this one where I just let it drip. Just to give you an idea of what those look like. And I don't feel like I need my torch because the cells are definitely popping up on their own. I feel like we got a really pretty cover coverage going and really pretty design. All from paint and string. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.